Benzinger's platinum watches don't just look good, they encase history and tradition. Their inner workings date back to between 1880 and 1930 and are refashioned and rebuilt to create dazzling new masterpieces. Hermann Grieb and Jochen Benzinger track down old watches from Swiss makers Patek Philippe and Vacheron Constantin to give them a new lease on life. And because virtually nobody manufactured wristwatches in the early 20th century, the old mechanisms that Grieb and Benzinger use come from pocket watches. They're worth up to 40,000 euros apiece. It was the golden age of watchmaking. Watches today aren't better. Movements back then were of a much higher quality. It's hard to imagine how they made the screws in there. The components are so tiny and delicate, the springs were so delicately cut, and they had no wire cutting machines or computerized machines. It was all cut out and filed by hand. It's astonishing. Grieb and Benzinger's secret is that they work in the style of old-fashioned watchmakers. Hermann Grieb begins by taking apart the valuable old pocket watches. Because modern watches tend to incorporate many different functions, he then plans which ones to include in his revamp. Some show hours, seconds and minutes. Some have a chronograph with a drag pointer and a striking mechanism. And we could add a regulator watch face, a 24-hour display, a moon phase, a date, depending on what the customer wants. But before they get to that stage, the old pocket watchers go to Jochen Benzinger's workshop. He customizes their appearance according to the wishes of the customer. Using the same tools that watchmakers had at their disposal 150 years ago, the plates are engraved, then skeletonized. Around a thousand hours of work go into a single Grieb and Benzinger original. We unite three, or actually four, craftsmen's techniques. First, we have the watchmaker who is familiar with old watch mechanisms. Not someone who just repairs a quartz watch, but who can really make parts. We reconstruct the watch, and then we do needlepoint etching by hand, which, like hand engraving and hand skeletonizing, is no longer something you can officially train to do. We more or less unite those three professions and put them all into the mechanism. Jochen Benziger is proud of the fact that his workshop is home to more needlepoint etching machines than any other. He uses them to score patterns into the plates, just as his counterparts did back in 1880. In using old techniques like needlepoint etching, engraving and skeletonizing by hand, techniques which were considered advanced back then, we do the clockwork justice. We're not making them worse, and I think Patek Philippe or Breguet might even be proud to see how we've altered their watches. Once they're finished, the Grieb and Benzinger masterpieces are put into platinum cases. Most of their customers are in Asia, Russia and the US. I hope that people who buy the watches actually wear them and have fun with them. And that when they put them on, they say, I've bought something beautiful, I have an original. I assume that customers do not own just this watch, but they have several, and that they say, now I'm going to buy myself a Grieb and Benzinger. Grieb and Benzinger can only make 10 of their original watches a year. And even though a finished article can cost up to 400,000 euros, it would be a shame to lock it up in a safe. Not least because each one of them contains a long tradition of watchmaking.